Hello dear viewer, welcome to my channel. This is where I, Fati, do some fun adventures. Sometimes my little sister joins in. Remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Hi guys. Hi guys! Today we're going to be making a delicious snack from Korea called Kruffle. If you don't already know, that is a croissant waffle. And I have my assistant Kruffle with me! In order to make a Kruffle, we need croissant dough. We have the Pillsbury kind. A spoon to open the Pillsbury croissant dough and a waffle maker. I'm, we are going to be using the manual waffle maker, but you could use the electric waffle maker if you have that available. Now we are going to go open the Pillsbury croissant dough. In order to do that, we first need to peel the outer layer. Haza, can you help me? Yes. to press on this edge. It's done. Okay. Be careful. Whoa, it pops. Now, let's go break it together, Asa. Whoa. This is our this is our croissant dough. So cool. Can you help us turn into a croissant? Let's open it. Smells so yeasty. Yeah. Mm. Oh, oh, no, 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 like that. Smell it. We need to yeah. do like this. Okay. Ah, okay. But I think I'll break the dough. Now we put this behind. Yeah, now open it. you have to go open it. Wait, wait. Be careful. Be careful. This is right. <laughs> All we need to do is to shape into croissants. Now? Now. Yeah. Pull out these edges yeah. over here. Be careful, do not break it. Yes, uh, pull it edges and we edges like that. Okay. And we, but do not, we still have to keep it to shape, okay? Yeah, like this. It's like a pizza. We just gotta make it into three triangles. Okay, follow my mom. We have to go cut an incision using a spoon over on the big edge. And then finally we can roll it. Cut the middle part like here. Over here. Finally, we have eight beautiful croissants. I love it. Now we're gonna put them in the waffle maker. Let's go. We're going to be cooking the croissants in the waffle maker. Be careful, guys, because it's very hot. And also, it doesn't need a stove because it's already powered by electricity. I'm going to be using the Korean way where we 
coat the croissant with brown sugar to make the traditional croffle. First of all, you gotta open the waffle maker and put some oil on it to make sure that the croissants do not stick. Because if it does stick, it will be a pain to clean. Now my mom will carefully place the Korean croissant onto the waffle maker. Gotta, gotta be careful, Hafsa. Oh, we gotta go close this. Oh. Want to try one? Yeah, we'll just try one to make sure it doesn't burn. Now I just gotta wait for a couple of minutes. So steamy and delicious. I hope our smoke alarm does not go off. The smell is so good, right, Hafsa? Yeah, but the smoke alarm is on top of us. I know, but it's okay. We'll just. I know. Whoa! It's ready. I didn't know it took that short amount of time. Oh, it yeah. smells sweet. Mm. It smells sweet. And delicious. Look at that, guys. It looks like a Belgian waffle. It's so delicious. Now I'm going to add a couple more. Yeah. Covered in brown sugar. Gotta close it. Whoa, that's so satisfying. Yeah. I can't wait until you, the viewer, and us will eat it. Now, all the croissants are gonna be ready in three, two, one. one. Snap! Now we're going to be making the croffles the manual way on a stove. Waffles are gonna be ready. First, we gotta coat it in brown sugar, obvious. So, first of all, we gotta turn on the stove. And we gotta heat the manual waffle maker to medium. For us, it's seven. Now, we just gotta add some oil to the manual waffle maker. Let's just because. We definitely do not want it to stick. Now it's fully covered. Now we use Especially this egg washer to spread this out the oil. Yeah, that looks like an octopus in the stick. It's yeah. definitely looking very shiny. You just gotta wait until it heats up. I think it's ready. Now I'll go put the croissant in the waffle maker. Careful. Okay. Be careful. We gotta go lock it. Yes. In place. Or it'll steam everywhere. In order to descend into the wa a manual waffle maker, we gotta flip it to ensure that we cooked all the sides. Now we just gotta wait. Now, in three, two, one. Remember, 
this one is from the electric waffle maker and this one is from the manual waffle maker. So come on, can you hear the sound of the crispiness? Alright Hasa, what do you want to try? Yeah, this one first though. Let me go try. Ooh, very crunchy. Mmm, tastes like honey. Nice. Now, let's go try the manual waffle maker. Okay. You try this one, how's to try this one, and I'll try this one. Whoa, that was really crunchy. I'm actually for a really good ASMR. Mm. Alright, Hasa, what, which one did you like the most? Mm, I prefer both. You prefer both? <laughs> yeah, they're the same thing. Okay, but it's okay. But you can also have the waffles with different toppings, such as with chocolate sauce, maple syrup, and ca uh, caramel. Why don't I try with some? This is, this is very good. But with sauces, they'll be on another level. Mm. If you ever try it, you could also get some sauce. Um, this is like an 8 out of 10. Good. So. Oh well, that's it for now. Bye! Bye. Oh, I didn't know you tuned in after the end of this video. Since you're here, all the remaining cruffles here use the manual waffle maker. In short, me and my mom prefer the manual cruffles against Hafsa, who now like the electric ones. So that's why. Speaking of cruffles, as an exciting surprise, you have the chance to make your own cruffle. All you have to do is try to make the delicious treat and post on YouTube on how it looks. You could also put your own spin to our cruffles. Tag me, Forti's channel, and use the hashtag CreateCruffles so I can see it. Oh well, that's it for now. Bye!